Hello, good morning. I am Giovanni Girardi, your lawyer specialized in intellectual property based here in Madrid, Spain, and serving you there where your needs are. Uh, before I start, I want to issue a very happy Easter. Uh, we are back and with full steam. And this month is very special to us because we celebrate the World Intellectual Property Day on April 26th. So in 21 days, we'll have lots of activities to, to celebrate what intellectual property is doing for the world and for your business. This year, the team, the World Intellectual Property Organization chose to celebrate this year World Intellectual Property Day is taking your ideas to market. And my understanding of that team is very broad. It's not a focus or only focus on intellectual property. Intellectual property um, is a key resource for taking your ideas to market, but there are, you have to understand where does intellectual property fits within your business. And I'll start from zooming out from the business a little bit, not focusing on digital marketing, not focusing on anything. We're going to zoom out a little bit and understand what a business take, what an idea takes to become a business. And here, we're not talking about inventions, we're not talking about patents, we're talking about an idea. You have a business idea, any business idea, selling hot dogs or um, um, makeup, whatever your business idea is, to define its success or failure, you're going to have to execute a series of steps um, to get to a result. And then you'll be able to define if you've been successful or not. And what you have learned within that process, right? So <clears throat> when I'm talking about intellectual property, I, div I break down the idea into intellectual property rights. So I break down the idea, what does that idea is composed of? Does it, is it a product? If that is a product, is it, it, does it have a design? Does the package has a design? is an invention, is a solution to a technical problem that has industry applicability, or is, does it have a name? How attractive is that name for your consumer? But we're not talking about intellectual property today or in the workshop I'm giving on April 26th. We're talking about taking the idea to market. So this, defining the intellectual property you'll be using to take your idea to market is part of taking your idea to market, but it's not the only thing you have to consider when taking your idea to market. And for me, it starts with an overview. We have zoom out with an overview of the business and that uh, you understand who you are, what are your values, what do you want the business values to be, and what would be the values of your customer. You separate very well who you are from who your customer is and you never confuse them. We are all people, we are all, uh, you know, but you separate, you clear establish a separation between who you are, who your value values are and who your customer and its values are. And with that, you define what values you want the business to be. When you understand who your customer is, you think about its journey. What is your customer journey when he buys from you? But not only for him to buy from you, but for him to find that that is the solution that will fit with him in his ecosystem. So the overview is very ample, very, very ample. It's not into, it doesn't go into nitty gritty details. It goes into global, a global view. 
right? So uh, your customer has a journey, your customer has an ecosystem and what goes on into that journey and into that ecosystem. And how does your product or your service fit there? Um, just to give a quick example, because I don't want to disclose all my presentation to you in 10 minutes. We're going to look into a case study, an Apple case study. And in this case study, I will invite you to think about your iPad, your iPhone, your iPod, your iMac, um, your iWatch, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you think about after you bought that product, you bought a physical product, but after you bought that physical product, if Apple had not thought out the customer journey and the customer ecosystem, your, your relationship with Apple would have finished there with the purchase of this product. But your relationship, if you use Apple, I'm guessing that your relationship doesn't finish there. You have Apple TV, Apple Care, um, iTunes, blah, 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 blah. That is, because they have, they have studied in detail what we as customers need in our life when we are using that product. So I'm here inviting you to come join me in the workshop I'm giving on April 26th to talk a little bit more about that and other things. Um, but I'm also inviting you to think what else does your customer need? What is your customer living, experiencing in the ecosystem of the product or services you are delivering? Have a good day. Bye-bye.